Hey, okay, what's up, guys? Back in 17. We're on my favorite level now. This was featured as a demo in the Xbox magazine. It's way long ass time ago. I don't even remember when, but that's how I found out about this game. Was that demo disc, and I played this level probably some ridiculous hundred times. I don't know. It's not even that spectacular. Probably not the best level in the game, but it is my favorite. So not having your weapon drawn anymore will no longer be still, still, they'll still come at you. You get these two droids who will not really help you because they, they're droids. Don't fire at this uh, Titan on the bridge there. Lure him to come over. He will. It just takes him a bit of time. See, he's starting to come over. And just. Hit him with a uh, recruiter grenade if you have two at this point. Fuck. Your destruction will be slow. All right, come on, come on. There we go. That worked out surprisingly well. Even though I missed, I still have both of my droids. You're gonna want to keep the Titan alive, preferably, in comparison to both of these droids, because I mean, Titan will actually kill stuff. But definitely try and draw your fire from him as well, because he, he likes to just run in. As you can see, he's kind of doing work, but he'll do much better if you cover him. Because there's going to be another Titan around the corner here. I'm going to pull a rocket launcher out and fuck him up ahead of time. The guy on the turret over there, maybe I can take him out right now. Well, I've incapacitated him, I guess. You could say that. Take out this Titan, or let your Titan take care of it, if you recruit him. What up, asshole? These things are like ATMs, I guess, of the droid world, and if you destroy them, they'll pop out a gold washer. Which is definitely something you're gonna want to do. They only take like one shot to get destroyed, so might as well. Mostly as a scatter shot. That's what I used to break them. This mailbox will also spit out some washers. They're not gold, but it's a fairly decent amount in exchange for like two bullets. Especially because there's scatter shot ammo right in there. Come over here to bust this generator. The uh, Titans will not follow you in. I don't think the droids will either. If they do, I recommend you discharge them so they don't follow you in. Okay, yeah, no, they don't. Oh, this next part, you're going to take control of a Titan and kind of get a good drop on everything. If you clear it, then the others will rejoin you once everything's dead. If you haven't upgraded the control tether yet, you'll get the third upgrade. So basically, all the upgrades for the control tether are free if you just wait. It doesn't take that long to fully upgrade it anyway. The third level will make the robots you're controlling a bit more powerful than normal. I don't know how that works, but it makes their armor a bit stronger. The shield takes a lot less damage when you're using it. But there's kind of a ridiculously amount of spawning of mills up ahead. Take out this Titan who's gonna come off the side. But just keep killing those grunts until eventually the door on the far end will open. And a uh, tank will come out to deal with you. Try and keep this Titan alive as long as possible so you don't have to deal with any glitch. But if it's up to you, fight him as glitch instead. I think there's a cute little flip. more of these guys to spawn. They don't all come out at once, which I kind of would rather deal with them all at once. But, uh, I don't know how they all fit in these little rooms. Just like a fucking clown house in there. There's no generator in there, in case you're wondering about them infinitely spawning. There's the tank I'm talking about. Deal with this thing quickly. Clear up the rest of the house with whatever's left of these guys. 
This Titan probably won't die. And as if so, you'll have to deal with it as glitch. Which kinda sucks, but I don't know, maybe you can kill him. Or just let him get killed by this little mill here. Let's see, can you kill him like this? Uh, maybe it just makes him back away. Am I though? So, are you going to kill me or not? If you go up to the door, you'll lose signal by then. So don't approach the door. You won't be able to advance as uh, the Titan. You can take control of the Titan that you already have if you want. I don't see why you would, though, because it's better to just have him fight alongside you. Fuck that guy. We got this washer, and that door will open down there after you clear your house. Titan and droids will rejoin you. Again, don't really worry about the droids, but make sure you try and keep that Titan alive to this point, because he'll be really useful in a second. Switch over to the skew so I can get a little bit more ammo for it. Fucking fully restored rocket launcher ammo. Great. Especially because I got the barrage cannon now. This thing's a ridiculous powerhouse. I don't know how much ammo it holds, but it holds a lot. Don't run these guys over if you can. If it can be avoided, try to avoid it. Come out through here with the tank. There's nothing to the right there. Maybe a secret ship, I don't know. But you don't have to go to the right there. Just keep going straight forward. Bust that turret. Be a tank over here. This is another one of those areas where we'll just, just fight until everything is dead. Because you won't be able to progress. Uh, those two, like, buildings, I guess, right there, en enemies will be pouring out of. And just keep fighting. You'll know you're on the last wave when a Titan with a shield comes out of the right side in one. But for the most part, you could probably just run in there and end it right away, but why bother? Get some ammo and wash it and stuff. The Titan will more than likely die in this fight. And that's fine, because this, this is the end of the level. If you do manage to end the level and he's still alive, just kill him anyway with the tank so you can get some of the washers that he drops. Oh, I just threw up the droid. That's okay. Because your allies will not follow you over the next level. So even if you did keep some of them alive, it won't matter. The droids don't drop anything, so don't bother trying to kill them if you don't, if they don't die, even though I accidentally killed one. But that Titan that's your ally will still drop stuff. Okay, where's, uh... There we go. He's the last one, this Titan with the barrage cannon and shield who is currently fucking my ass. Jesus Christ. Alright, so get out here and go into these two buildings. There's two generators you need to blow up. This one. One rocket will take care of it. Why waste anything else? Especially because there's going to be a shit ton of rocket launcher ammo laying around. Such as this. Oh, I guess you could use coring charges, but I mean, why bother? Holy shit, you hold a lot of rockets. I don't even know how many hold. Maybe a hundred? Right now I have 69, and that's like a sex thing, right? Shout out to that thing busting now that I've taken care of both of the generators. This Titan, rest in peace, never forget in a second. Oh, goes up to 75. I love you, man, but you can't come with me anymore. So I'm going to put you down for whatever collectible you drop. I feel so sad because you walked up to the tank with me. Oh, yeah. Didn't even drop any washers, that kinda sucks. Oh well. Yeah. Run over here. There's a bit of ammo behind that if you want it. I really don't, so I didn't go get it. And you end the level. Just awkwardly. Don't mind me.
Okay. You can't run forward anyway because you can't jump over that crate, so just let that thing push you through anyway. Alright, so I kind of beat this level in under the 10 minute mark, but I think my commentary is going to throw it over the 10 minute mark. Plus, this is, since this is my favorite level, I want it to have a video to itself. Alright, so that'll be the end of this video. I won't go on to the next level. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you around.